Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. Tell you what, we've got a super exciting show for you guys tonight. I've got a really special guest in here with us. And we're going to be talking about several different things. And one of those big things you guys might have heard about a while ago is our Christmas giveaway. Now, you guys have only got tonight until midnight to finish getting signed up for that over on the Facebook page. So be sure to get over and get signed up because we have got a lot of different things we're going to be giving away. Um, so I want to go ahead and remind you that first thing right off the bat tonight. We'll go ahead and back out, and I've, I've got with me tonight, I've got Anthony Landers with us again tonight. He's back in the house. He was out doing a little hunting in Kentucky last week. This uh, week. And, uh, or this week. Yeah. And just beside him, we have got Mr. or Pastor Tim Buffalo. <laughs> And uh, I've been calling him Pastor Tim, but I I'm super excited, Tim, to have you on here tonight. And, and I, I first met you, uh, or Anthony and I, we all three did a radio show together right. in West Tennessee. Right. Got to talking that night, kind of were throwing some ideas around about possibly a little segment that we might add to the show, yeah. you know, and uh, the way the Lord works, it's just kind of all kinda has come all together, together yeah. over the yeah. last couple of months, and, and that's, it looks like it's going to be coming to fruition. So. Um, just kind of want to hit on that just a little bit tonight. We're going to be going out in the field here in just a minute with Tim on a muzzleloader hunt uh, from just a, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, you're going to get to follow along with him because not only is he a pastor at Scott Seal Baptist Church there, he is also a very avid outdoorsman. And uh, he has found a way to reach out to outdoorsmen uh, just like ourselves and uh, share the, the word of the gospel with them. And it, it's just been a wonderful thing. So I'm really looking forward to, to bringing this in and adding this to the show. So tonight we just want you guys to have a chance to meet Tim. We're going to be talking with him a little bit as we go throughout the night. And uh, so you'll kind of know uh, who he is and just how neat this is really going to be as we get this going. So tell you what, let's go ahead and go to the woods and follow him along on a muzzleloader hunt here in Tennessee.
video footage and we thought we had a double but on Garrett's shot it went right over the top of his back a clean miss didn't injure the deer at all uh, that's that's what happens and uh, the old man had to show him how to do it mine dropped in his tracks just wait just a minute we'll show it to you Here's, here's my buck and actually we see here right on the top of his back there's a line of hair where Garrett missed so this was the exact same buck that came right back out about less than a minute after Garrett shot a uh, nice little seven point got something real neat there on the tip of one of his uh, one of his antlers there just a little I don't know look like it's been broke off or grown back or whatever and he's got a little kicker point there so it could possibly be an eight point uh, nice buck first day of muzzleloader season and very thankful very thankful there's nothing like being able to hunt with your son even though he misses and the old man has to show him how to do it every once in a while very thankful thank you lord I tell you, that's that's a pretty neat deal right there. It was a lot of fun. So, <laughs> when did you tell. realize? I guess it was a few minutes before you realized. You go back and look at the footage and realize it's the same deer. Yeah, we we thought that he had hit it, just kind of hit it high, and then when the second buck, what we thought was the second buck, came out. Uh, after it dropped, we went back to watch the footage and realized, well, that's that's the exact same deer. <laughs> and you can see the line of hair right on top of his back where he just kind of trimmed his, trimmed oh, his back. So. Well, it, I'd say you guys will never forget that morning for sure. Yeah, yeah it was good. Of course, it. I had to rub it in a little bit too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I you know, there's to, a lesson. There's a lesson in that right there, right. isn't there? We'll, we'll see that here in just a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Get to share that with everybody. Guys, we're going to go over and we're going to do this week's Wild Game Forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends at Wilson Bank & Trust. You can stop in and see them at one of 28 Middle Tennessee locations. Talk to them about any of your banking or financial needs. And be sure to tell them thank you for everything they do for us right here at Southern Woods & Waters. Guys, it's a, uh, it's a good time to be in the outdoors. Yes. It's, uh, we got rifle season opening up this weekend. Your, uh, your small game hunters are really getting after it. You know, I've I got a... Uh, several buddies that are big into rabbit hunting and there's they've been having some good rabbit hunts this year I think it's quite a few ducks down too. Yeah, we've got especially some ducks in the bottom. I tell you Mike Hayes up at Blue Bank at real foot has been putting up uh, Videos up there. I want to say hi to Mike tonight I'm telling you there are ducks coming down to real foot right now yeah. like you wouldn't believe Yeah, it's, so, it's a lot on the hatchy too. Yeah, right now. I, I believe our, our waterfowl hunters are really gonna have a good year this year It looks like the way the weather's going to end up you know yeah. after thanksgiving it's probably yeah. gonna get pretty good get those birds on down yes. hopefully it'll be better than last yeah. year yeah, <laughs> yeah last year last year seemed to be a little bit of a struggle yeah. for the yeah. for the water mm -hmm. mm -hmm. disappointing last year i believe this year's gonna be pretty good so that, that's gonna be something to look forward to the the deer are doing their thing right now you know just like they're supposed to be hey those kids out fishing on chickamauga last week let me tell you buddy they put some good i fish saw in the that boat. yes so uh the bass are out there being caught right now some really good ones they had a great weekend Looking forward to sharing that with you guys here in just a couple of weeks. We're going to have Jake Davis on the show and show y'all how that fishing trip went down there at Chickamauga with him this weekend. But I tell you, all in all, wildlife and, and uh, it's very active right now and it's a great time to be out there in the outdoors. Big time. So, guys, we want to remind you, follow us on Facebook. I mentioned it earlier, we've got that Christmas giveaway right now. You've got to get over there tonight and get signed up by midnight. All those names will get put in a cooler tomorrow. We're going to be starting to draw names because uh, our show for the Christmas show is, you know, be recorded uh, here shortly. So you guys better get your name in so we can get that done and you can be one of our lucky winners. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to do this week's Pictures of the Week. We'll have some more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 